Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome to the Fiscal Philosophy YouTube channel. You've probably been hoping somebody would make a video on Medical Properties Trust, and here I am to come to your aid and give you what you're looking for. So, the stock has dipped once again about 10% from where it was last week. A lot has happened, but for now, this dip seems mostly driven by the recent news on either Thursday night or Friday morning uh, is when I saw it, that Optum, owned by United Healthcare, has in fact backed out of their offer to buy stewardship, which was one of the major assets of Steward Healthcare, which is in Chapter 11, and their asset sales are how creditors like MPW will get their money. The source of this information seems to be some state official who, by the way, was not authorized to discuss the situation and asked not to be named. Now, it's interesting to me that the press seemed to go far and wide in reporting this as a fact based on a single unnamed source, but nobody from Steward or Optum has come out and said that this is not correct. So most likely it is actually a fact that Optum has backed out of the stewardship deal. Since the sources won't be named, it seems unlikely we will get a real explanation as to why Optum backed out. Now Optum is owned by United Healthcare and recently got hit by a really big cyber attack. While all this steward stuff has been kind of playing out behind the scenes, the fallout from this cyber attack has cost them millions upon millions, possibly into the billions of dollars worth of different kinds of damages and fixes that they have to make. It could be that due to the fact that they're still realizing some of the fallout and still cleaning up the mess from this cyber attack, that perhaps the timing to try to take on integrating another large physician network in with their uh, current existing business might just not be good as far as timing goes. Of course, analyst price targets on it remain kind of meh with a low end of $4 and a high end of $10. Of course, the people that are bullish on the stock think that $10 is even kind of a conservative price target. Time will show who's correct on this matter. One interesting item of note in favor of the stock right now, it's not all bad news, the deadline on some of these hospital auctions seems to have been extended to July 11th. Apparently, according to one reading of this, is because of the amount of interested bidders. There's a lot of interest in these steward hospitals, which is a good thing if you want new paying tenants and if you want Steward to end up with some cash in order to make their creditors whole, of which Medical Properties Trust is a major one. Now, it looks as though July 11th is going to be the next really important date with regards to uh, these hospital auctions. So we'll be waiting to see what happens around that time, of course. If some halfway decent numbers come out of that, I think it'll be good for us. And of course, getting new tenants is always a plus, as that will improve funds from operations. And of course, a few weeks after that, we have earnings estimated to come out in mid-August. So my personal hope is that over the course of the summer, between these uh, bid deadlines and such with the steward bankruptcy, as well as MPW's earnings report being released in August, we'll get a much clearer picture on where things stand. Also, in July, speaking of how the summer is super important for MPW, we have Dividend Payment Day, aka Drip Day, for those with dividend reinvesting turned on, on July 9th, two days before those deadlines we talked about earlier. Also, if you think I'd forgotten about the shorts, you're wrong. Short interest, of course, is still a little bit frothy at 33.5%. And of course, after a little bit of a hibernation, they're back on Twitter now that there's a little bit of a negative news story for them to riff off of and make into a mountain. 
I genuinely don't know if this is enough short interest to really cause a major squeeze, but a lot of shorts exiting in a short time frame would definitely drive the share price up to some extent and sort of eliminate the overhang on the stock price, we'll say. Suffice it to say, I am patiently waiting for these developments to unfold and for this share price to come off of life support. Um, I'm hoping that once we have some solid numbers to work with on some of these steward asset sales, that it'll help us formulate a more clear picture of the value of MPW. Another X factor potentially is the upcoming election in November. It's no secret that under the current administration that healthcare companies have struggled with sluggish Medicare and Medicaid payouts. In fact, the steward hospitals in Massachusetts that have dragged their overall company's performance mostly relied on those payouts from Medicare and Medicaid. This is not even strictly a presidential issue. Of course, there are a bunch of senators and congressmen who have a lot of say-so in what the budget looks like for Medicare and Medicaid. And so I encourage anybody that is in the U.S. to look at who's on the tickets in which states and where they stand. If those reimbursement rates get a little bit of a bump, then it should be good for healthcare businesses as a whole up to and including your health insurance providers and of course, MPW. Comment below if you are still in MPW and where you think a good price target is and what the valuation will be after the steward bankruptcy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more, like the video for the algorithm. Sorry I've been out not producing as many videos lately. Moving has been a bit of a task to do mostly myself. Join Discord, link in the description if you want to talk more. Take it easy, everybody.